Fish has made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Moves right to the middle, and he can't find his man. Edmonton's got it against the boards. And now he moves it to Cajon. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Snaps one from the slot. Can't get it to go. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it over to Suter. That's sent in deep, and the forwards will change. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Minnesota's gained possession. Oh, great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. The Oilers play it along the boards. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Edmonton's won the draw. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. He grabs the puck here at the point. Takes a shot, gets in front of it. Tough enough to make the save unless you can see it. He's got to fight his way and find the puck. Edmonton's won the draw and they'll go to work. Picked up along the boards by Yamamoto. And loses possession after a solid hit. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Edmonton's won the faceoff. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. Couldn't find the intended target. Puck picked up by Johansson. That pass goes a little sideways. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Maintains possession. Shot, and he comes up with it. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We're still scoreless. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Minnesota's got it now. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Scores! What a shot! The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot and he beats him clean. The Wild have taken the early lead here, scoring the first goal of the game. No team's really built to chase the game, so they're out in front. Now they can dictate the pace. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. They've got numbers. Slides it across. Turns it away. Dead center. Excellent save. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. And he makes the save. It's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. 
Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends it down low. Nice poke check. Feeds the puck to Benino. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Let's see the call here. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot, and the guy goes down, and you're toast every time. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Coaches always talk about the importance of excellent special teams. He scores! Put the special in special teams! Now the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They moved the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. Well, that's the way you draw it up. It just never seems to work like that. Face-off control, a power play goal in a, just a few seconds. Still lots of time left in the period. Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Puck grab by Brodeen. Takes the feed. Here's an opportunity and makes the save. Takes the puck at the point. Moves it to Rask. Oh, what a stop! Koskinen's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. Minnesota still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. Looks to set up at the point now. Wide! The Oilers take over on possession. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. There he is from the slot! Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. From the point, they take control of it. Blocked in front. And the puck departs the zone. Bears got it in the defensive end. Levels him with the hit. Not able to connect. And a poke check knocks the puck away. From point blank range. And that one's blocked. Turned aside with the glove by Koskinen. Pretty good work on the two-on-one. The defenseman gives the goalie the shooter. And he makes the save. Past the midway mark in this period. And it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Quick pass to Cajon. Takes the pass. Misses over the net. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. Here he is on the backhand. Kick save. Oh, he's dialed in tonight. Very used to contributing offensively. This pointless streak is not something that you usually see from him. The setters will glide into the dot. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. A chance, and makes the save. We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Suter's moving the puck through his own zone. Strong defensive effort, taken by Archibald. Right in front, nothing. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Quick feed to Suter. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And he serves it across to Greenway. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Strong defensive effort. 
Picked up along the wall by Ennis. The Oilers are in transition. Here's a chance! Foley with a stop. Here in the later stages of this period, Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead. Haas wins it in the offensive zone. And that goes wide. Moves it quickly over to Haas. Battling for it along the boards. Sends a pass over. Parisi's got the puck along the wing. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Forces the turnover. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Right in the slot. Rips it. Oh, that just goes wide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Manages to hang on. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Pass to Hartman. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Sends the pass over with the stop. He scores! Jumps on the rebound. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Passes over to Cahoon. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The first period in the books and not a moment too soon. What a performance, at least at one end. It's time for tonight's Lucky Road giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row F. Each fan receives a limited edition player's t-shirt. And don't forget to purchase your player t-shirt tonight, only at our team store. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Official has made his way back to center ice, and we are ready to go for period number two. Set to get underway here in the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Oilers haven't done really anything that they can be satisfied with. They trail in the game. They haven't had many shots on net. They're not even really in the play. From the place 99 made famous. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. Here he is, shot right in front. Big save. Here's a short pass to Zuccarello. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Through center along the wing. Moves it to Rask. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Taken along the wall by Cahoon. Solid check to slow him down. From behind the net. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Quick pass to Dumba. Minnesota's looking to break out. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Move to the middle. Here he is, wristed on net. Oh, what a save with the stick by Koskinen. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. The Oilers don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. They're gonna be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. They'll go back to work on their special teams. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. And he regains control of the puck. The Oilers have it against the wall. 
Koskinen's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock, and just look at the score. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Dished on over to Johansson. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Johansson's got it along the wing. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Wrist one in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Quick feed to Johansson. Puck scooped up by Hartman. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. And now it's grabbed by Larson. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. Edmonton's got it from behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Gains the zone through the middle. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's a short pass to Ennis. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Look out! Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one! Ah, that's a good save there, James. It looks rather simple, but he gets the puck into the corner. No danger. The Oilers have it behind the net. Moves it to Neal. And now he moves it quickly to McLeod. Takes a shot, comes up with the stop. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. Takes the pass from the left wing. Johansson's already scored. You know he wants another. Everybody's thinking offense tonight. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Pokes the puck away. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Johansson. Into the attacking area from the left side. Fails to find the open man. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Quick pass to Neal. Here they are on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Neal. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Up along the wing. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Benito's taking it from his own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it across. Big time stick save. Sharp reaction save. Another stop by the goaltender. McLeod's picking up steam. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Let's it go, and there's the save. He scores! Oh, what a play as he gets his own rebound and puts it in. Bang, bang, shot off the goalie. The puck falls down, and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound, and he puts it in. Minnesota's had them on their heels all night, and they've been lighting the lamp a lot, too, here. Yeah, they've had an almost perfect hockey game so far. I've loved the way they've played this game. We'll see if they can take it home. And we're still only in period number two. 
Quick feed to Rask. Susie slides the puck to Zuccarello. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Taken by Cahoon. Shot denied by the goaltender. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. From the neutral zone now. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Minnesota's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively as they lead big here late in the second. Dreisaitl's one possession. Edmonton's on the attack. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Wild have control of the puck. Felino's carrying it ahead. Receives the pass. That goes off the stick. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Right in the slot. Scores on the one-timer. He's able to work his way into the low slot to take that pass. He doesn't stop it, so the goalie can't catch up to it. Edmonton's going to make a change in goal. I guess you can't pull the whole team, so you just pull the goalie. He's had enough to pass them tonight. Minnesota's refused to let up that chokehold here in the late stages of this second period. Total control of the hockey game from the beginning, and they have piled it on here in the middle frame. Grabs control of it at the point. Stays with it. Makes the save. Scores! He stayed with it and buries the rebound. Well, they don't have a third goalie, so this guy's going to have to stay in there. The relief goaltender doesn't make the stop. He's fishing it out of his net, too. The Wild have made this incredibly uncomfortable for the guy wearing the pads at the other end of the ice tonight. Well, he's like a one-man band out there. They could put both goalies in, and I don't think this is going to stop the flow. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Answered the call there. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there that didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, though. none. Another special teams opportunity for both sides. The man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, the power play gets another opportunity. They haven't been super busy tonight, but here's a chance to get on the board. And the puck leaves the zone. Second period nearly in the books here. Moves the puck. Takes the feed. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Shot! Stones him in front. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. McDavid's the leader of this team. It's the captain. Even though they're way down, he's got to make sure that nobody quits on the game. That's part of his role. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. Tries to clear the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Moves it quickly over to Suter. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Be sure to attend our Auto and Light Truck Show next weekend and get a sneak peek at next year's model from the world's top automobile manufacturers. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. The Oilers start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Great chance in front, stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Minnesota's on total cruise control early in this third period. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. A chance! Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Great reflexes, another save! Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Minnesota's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. Benito's won it in their own end. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Moves the puck across to Nugent Hopkins. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Handles the puck, denied by the goaltender. Wrists one, big stop by the keeper. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. Moved into the middle. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Minnesota's lead is so solid, that one's not gonna matter much, I don't think. I know if I was shooting it though, James, I would have wanted it to go in. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The centermen glide into position. Nice job tying up his opponent. Feeds the puck to Cahoon. Pokes it away in his own end. On the attack along the boards. The Oilers will play it through the neutral zone. Here's an odd man rush. Tries to get it to Greenway. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And it's a quick pass to Zuccarello. Minnesota's got it along the wall. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Erickson X getting called for tripping on the play. He's gonna look up at the big board and see that. You know what, that's a trip for sure. He got a stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. The power play unit goes right back to work. Oh, here they go again. They haven't had a lot of power plays tonight, James. But here's a chance to crack through with the man advantage. And that's blocked away. Puck slid down the ice. Barry's got it behind his own net. Gains the zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call. The Wild have put themselves shorthanded, tripping the call. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Edmonton's got a five on three, and lots of time on their side. The coaches were talking to the power play about don't be too cautious. Get the puck on goal early. And puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Puck move back to the neutral zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Feeds the puck across to Ennis. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. Unloads one. Denies him. He got all of it. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. That's a big time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Knocked away. Here's a short pass to McLeod. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. The Oilers fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Oh, that penalized player comes out of the penalty box. 
He can give a nod down to his penalty killing unit. They did their job. Outstanding work. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to Neal. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Here he is on the tip. Stopped by the goaltender. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. From the point, looks to make something happen. Jabs the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Spurgeon. And he handles the cross ice pass. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck. Quick pass to McLeod. Takes a shot. Denies him in front. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Nice zone entry from the left. The Oilers have it from their own end. Quick feed to Ennis. Gets the puck in deep. The Wild have possession along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Wrist shot from the slot. Scores! Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender. Minnesota's only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The backhand, he scores! That's the hat trick! Oh, what a great feeling to get three goals in a game. Doing it on the road is a, is a real nice trick. You got to get into the middle of the ice to score. He's in the low slot, and he whips the backhander past the goalie. The Wild have really opened it up here in this third period, Ray. They've skated well, they've moved the puck well, and they've capitalized on their chances. This sets up for them coasting home. Long lead pass up the center. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Cuts into the paint. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, he digs in and wins the draw there. Now they can get out of the zone. Musa quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Nice pass. Shot, too much congestion in front. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. His reflexes on display tonight. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Tries to get it over to Polino. Minnesota's in now. Polino's got it in the offensive zone. And the defenders come up with the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Into the corner now. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves it on over to Cahoon. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. Grabbed along the boards by Greenway. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Over the net! Oh man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Wrist shot from the slot. He scores! One timer and a butte. The goalie. 
he's not going to catch this. The pass from behind the net's on the tape, one-timed into the cage before he can really get turned around. Minnesota's lamp-lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Snapper from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. He's on it. Good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. 15 minutes, 58 seconds. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Tries to get the puck to Neal. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Made the save on the play. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Takes the feed. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Puck moved over to Johansson. Smart defensive play there. Minnesota's got possession at center. Puts it to the front of the net. Misses. It was right there. Ray. Oh, it's such a great chance, and he doesn't get the shot on net. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Smashing hit. Was it ever? He went right over top of him. Carries it across the line. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. And icing is the call. We'll do it one more time before this thing wraps up. You ever watch paint dry? It feels like it right now. Oh, you're watching it right now. The hitting hasn't let up at all since the beginning of the game. All night, both teams have been on the body. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Well, now they've got them running around. They're a little tired after the icing. Picked up along the boards by Dreisaitl. And a strong effort on that play. Keeps possession. With the blast. Denies him on the slobber. Puck picked up by Barry. Moves it to Yamamoto. Hammers it on net. And he comes up with the save. Man, he pounded that shot. But the goalie was in good position and made the save. Edmonton's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Dreisaitl's won the draw. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Nice poke check. Quick pass to Rask. And that's all she wrote from this one tonight. Goalie sure didn't look like a rookie. He was so calm in recording his first.